Hi, I'm Rob the Robot. Welcome to Rob Tech. Today we're looking at the Intel NUC 13 Extreme Raptor Canyon. These Extreme NUC mini PCs keep growing in size. Is this one of those bigger is better philosophies? Pretty sure it doesn't apply to mini PCs. With a volume of 13.9 liters, it's a sizable increase over last year's 8 liter effort. At this volume, you can even find smaller DIY ITX cases. But Intel's NUC 13 Extreme does allow you to add in a sizable GPU underneath. A triple slot up to a length of 313 millimeters or 12 inches is supported. Still, I think NUC 13 Extreme has lost its uniqueness compared to what came previously. It now just looks like one of those boxes from Dell or Compaq you used to put the monitor on top of. This review unit came fully pre-built featuring the i9 13900K, an ASUS TUF RTX 3080 Ti, 32GB of DDR5 4800 sodium memory, and 1TB storage. But all NUC 13 Extreme retail kits will be bare bones, so you'll have to bring your own GPU, RAM, storage, and OS. I really thought it was going to be bundled with the ARC A770 GPU, but nope. You also get a 750 watt gold 80 plus modular SFX power supply to power your app to build. Maximum available power output for GPUs is triple 8 pin connectors or around 450 watts. And the slot on the NUC itself is PCIe Gen 5. The NUC 13 Extreme is also available with an i7 13700K or i5 13600K. Front IO is dual USB 3 5 gigabit and a USB-C 20 gigabit. The Compute Element card has six USB 3 10 gigabit ports, dual Thunderbolt 4, HDMI 2.1, and dual Ethernet ports, one being 2.5 gigabit and the other 10. That's a pretty good port selection. Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth are also included. The NUC 13 Extreme is very heavy and mostly made out of metal. It's a great quality case. On the side panels, there's a checkerboard mesh pattern. I think it gives a PC an odd look, but at least it provides a lot of airflow and dust entry points. Unfortunately, it still isn't enough to cool the 13900K at stock settings under a full core load, even with that heatsink and fan behind it. But cooling the top end has been a problem with all the extreme NUX so far. They all sit at a toasty 100C degrees when pushed. In games where the CPU isn't under 100% load, it stays in the 80s and 90s, my two favorite decades. Once the compute element section is removed, you can add up to three Gen 4 NVMe drives. There's also space for two 2.5 inch SATA or one 3.5 inch storage drive. With the benchmarks, I wanted to see how performance held up against a desktop with much fancier cooling. Single core is fine, with the NUC performing almost exactly the same. In multi-core, there's a sizable drop as it thermal throttles. A 16% drop in performance for this 10 minute test. The other system had an advantage of using DDR5 5600 for the iGPU, but it didn't make much difference. Both perform very similarly. And here's a 3D Mark score for the 3080 Ti. Again, very similar performance. Maximum power draw for this pre-built system was 629 watts. The CPU maxed out at 100C and thermal throttled, while the ASUS TUF 3080 Ti maxed out at 72C. The cooling may not be up to snuff to handle the i9-13900K on a full core load, but it sure is a quiet PC. Have a listen. Pretty impressive. So, who is this for? Oh, you're asking me that question. Well, it is a premium pricey product targeted at gamers, streamers, and content creators. If the NUC 13 Extreme was fully pre-built, I could see its niche right about there. But it's bare bones and requires you to build it and install the OS yourself. If you've got the knowledge for that, wouldn't you just pick all the parts from scratch and then build an ITX rig? I don't know, maybe I'm missing something here and I'm totally out of touch with where the market is heading. Let me know in the comments if this is the PC for you. With the NUC 13 Extreme, you can build a powerful PC with a nice quality case. It's very quiet too, but it's pretty large, pricey, and struggles to tame the i9-13900K under heavy workloads. 
I also think it's lost its unique selling point of being different by going, well, this large. In any case, it's still better than the NUC 12 enthusiast, which has bigger problems than this. But hopefully, NUC 14 Extreme won't grow any larger. Hi, I'm Rob the Robot. Welcome to RobTech. Hi, I'm Rob the Robot, and welcome to RobTech.